Hello Virgo, and this is your spread for June 2017, and um, this is your reading. If you are a uh, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, then this spread is for you also. If you're on the cusp of a Leo and Virgo, you may want to take a look at my Leo video as well to see if that also pertains to you. And today in my video, this video, I do have my uh, Rose Quartz Lamp. Yes, just like my other video where I have my amethyst lamp right here. I don't have it on today. I'm just going to show you. Um, it's very pretty. It's a little bit smaller. The rose quartz is a little bit fatter. Um, they're not going to all be the same. Um, some of them will be wider. Some of them will be thinner. It's, you know, because it's it's all natural crystal. So it's going to be different. Um, every, every crystal is different, but they are made in Brazil. They're very beautiful. Um, you can use the light underneath or you could just have it without the light underneath. It's very, very pretty just it's, itself on its own. And it weighs about three pounds. It's kind of heavy, not too heavy, but it's about maybe three to four pounds. And it's very, very beautiful. I'll turn it on for you so you can see what it looks like. There you go. And I do sell again amethyst crystal lamps, rose quartz, and clear quartz, and also selenite, okay? Anyhow, back to your reading. And so for you, Virgo, um, for work, I had drew the king of wands and the hermit card. For money, I had drew the seven of coins and the ace of wands. For family, I had drew the ace of coins and the death card. For love and relationships, I had drew the magician and the two of wands. For your goals and ambitions this month, I drew the tower and the hangman. And for your unexpected Virgo, I had drew the ten of cups and the knight of swords. And your advice card this month is the eight of wands, okay? So for work, Virgo, um, a lot of you have been more focused on, I'm picking up on self-assertion due to the king of wands and ambition, okay? Business and work seem to be improved at first. Kind of like ideas for possibly self-promotion begin to kind of formulate. In general, though, the King of Wands is someone with a fire sign type personality. Someone who kind of like takes charge, someone who is ambitious, um, energetic, and very direct. But um, many of you may have or will become a bit more motivated on seeking and finding or trying to find a solution to a problem concerning work. It's possible that someone has maybe scoped you out for your help or knowledge due to the Hermit card. And I do feel that what also could be going on is a lot of you who have been normally driven and very passionate about your job suddenly becomes a bit more withdrawn or that work or business hasn't been or won't be as high as a priority lately. Um, another thing about the hermit card is the hermit often um, represents solitude and introspection. So I think another meaning of this reading, uh, sorry, of this pair is that with the King of Wands, I feel like you maybe have a lot of ideas that you want to get out, but you kind of want to keep them to yourself. That's another possibility of this spread right here, uh, of this combination. Um, so ambitiously secretive could be, maybe you're planning some sort of um, advanced opportunity to get ahead at work, but instead of speaking your mind, you choose to remain silent, okay? And that's okay too, just telling you another meaning. Um, but a lot of you may have been kind of searching for a different job also because that's what the hermit um, coming after shows that you know development right now seems to be more inward than outward okay um, some of you may um, maybe have felt a decline in motivation concerning work or business or that you are searching for maybe a different kind of job position or are looking to move on to the next phase of work Sometimes the hermit is like an um, investigator. Uh, there may be some kind of information you want to seek out in order for you to get ahead in work or business. So the hermit is also about, um, also it's about being very organized. Um, so it's been very important for many of you to not overlook details as this month may have motivated you to become much more productive and practical compared to last month. And I'm kind of speaking more of past tense due to it is where we are heading towards the end of the month now. And sorry, I'm late on your reading, but so I'm kind of speaking as if it might, this might have already happened or that this, because you know, July hasn't hit yet, it still may happen, okay? Um, but overall, this, this is a month where a lot of you 
or just a lot of focus is highly important to you if you do want to get ahead. Um, for those of you looking for work, I feel that this pair is showing your search will be over very soon because it does show you're on the right path. And in general, I'm not really seeing any job losses. I feel like if you do want to um, quit your job and do something else, I think it'll be your, in your control more than you getting fired. I'm not seeing like a loss of a job. I'm just seeing maybe that you might be searching for another job, okay? And which most people do when they still have one, just, you know, just to kind of, you know, they don't want to quit their job and then look for a job. Most of the time, I mean, unless they get fired, but so, sometimes that happens too, but a lot of times, we usually see people um, look for a job while they're still employed and then quit their job when they get their notice or etc. So I feel if, if anything, it might be more of that than losing a job. Okay. Anyhow, with money, um, I see most of you have been working hard and exerting extra effort to achieve your financial goals. I'm really picking up that it's been a bumpy road. But I see that results are now starting to unfold. I also feel many of you have been feeling frustrated over working very hard, but your efforts are starting to pay off finally. And I feel that this pair um, shows maybe like a wise investment of money, but there also has been a lot of a re-evaluation and conserving. So you can, you know, start to enjoy the benefits as well. The Ace of the Ace of Wands coming after the Seven of Pentacles or coins um, does show me that though your financial situation does look very preca precarious. Is that the word I'm looking for? Oh, well, I'll just go with that. <laughs> And at times, I feel like you may have had felt little options available, but then better news arrives concerning some financial gain that kind of shed new light on the way you view your future security. And the Ace does show me that a lot of you may be wanting a new beginning or a fresh start. And this can be a new business idea or a clean bill of credit or that you're looking for new ways of bringing in money. Remember, I always use, you know, the Ace of Wands is always about new things, new ideas. Um, you know, it could be a new job, even though I did say that you might be looking for a job, and even if you may not be, but this could be related to this. And, but money most likely does come from hard work and a lot of patience because, you know, we do have the seven of coins here, as well as, you know, I feel like it might be coming from creative or inspired ventures and ideas. But I do feel that financial success seems to come through new concepts and again, innovative ideas and investments. Okay. Now, I don't, I didn't really mention a lot of money gain this month or a ton of spending, but it is overall a positive pair due to the Ace of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles is not always a negative card. It just means a lot of waiting um, or rethinking things through. So it just may mean that a lot of you are just trying to take the time out to think about your um, future investments or something that you want to do because I feel like this is, it's more of planning. So I'm not seeing a money loss and I'm not seeing a money gain, but I'm seeing a money kind of stable, stable and sort of secure, but you're still waiting for more results. So I feel like next month, when I do your reading, hopefully the we'll see what's been going on because maybe next month is when a lot of uh, growth will finally come up for you. But overall, it's not a negative reading for money. It's just not showing a lot of spending or a lot of money. Not in this category, but with family, it kind of does, sort of. But I'll get to that in a minute, or I'll get to that right now, actually. So for family, um, it, this is interesting because the ace shows a new beginning and the death is transformation with the end of something concerning family but i do feel a lot of you want something to change between you and this family member but um in order for a new beginning to happen means that something needs to end by definition okay um <clears throat> i feel like something may happen that transforms the people or family members involved here and i kind of feel like I feel that someone may bring about radical changes to how the other sees like or loves and works. Okay. It's like, it's like the lane of a solid foundation brought by the ACE that will somehow lead to some huge change and transformation shown by the death card. Now, and I might throw you off a little bit because again, there's a lot of meanings to 
you know, a lot of everything. <laughs> um, but another meaning is someone in the family will be experiencing better times or better health or overall improved conditions. So that's good. But I do pick up that some of you maybe, um, I'm hearing invest, buy or invest in new property. But this may be a different city, state, or, or even a country. Um, hmm. Or maybe this is just a family member doing this. You might just hear about it. Um, it can also be that some, some money was lost in the family considering the death comes after rather than before. So just be extra careful. But um, on the other hand, it could be the opposite that someone in the family suddenly comes into more money and this makes for a huge a huge change and almost like an entirely different lifestyle because that's what the death also is about okay um whatever's going on here <laughs> i feel that someone in your family begins something new but again not until something first has ended because it's not until after that, that they'll be able to start new things and then they're able to go into a positive direction. Okay, you get what I'm saying? So overall, I mean, it's not very bad and, and don't freak out. I don't want people to think, oh no, someone in my family is gonna die because of the death card. No, the death, that doesn't always mean a physical death. It's, you know, really, you really have to have a lot of cards supporting that to actually predict a physical death. And of, I mean, it could be one of the meanings, but really, I mean, it, there's more of, a, because of the ace, it's not so much a physical death. Um, the ace of coins is, is physical things, um, being grounded, new beginnings, but it's also a material money card, okay? And I mean, sometimes with a death comes inheritance, yes, but I would say, if I was to say a, an inheritance coming because of a death, I most, not that this couldn't be saying that, but most likely I would only say that if the death was this right here, like if the spread was reversed, because then we would see a death bringing inheritance, okay? Um, or, I mean, some of you might say, well, then is the inheritance bringing death? Well, <laughs> sometimes people get a lot of money or some winnings and they, and they can't have, you know, some people physically have heart attacks because they're so excited. No, I'm not, I'm not going to, actually, that's not really funny. And that, that's very rare. I'm sure there's stories of that too, but I'm not seeing a physical death. So don't worry. Okay. Um, remember, it's just a card reading. We're not right about everything 100% of the time. We may be right a lot, but we're not right 100%. And remember, the future is constantly changing. And again, because it's the end of the month, this might have already happened. So you can let me know if that happened or not. Okay, so with relationships, hmm, the, this is a very powerful combination, a very powerful one. Um, for love and relationships, those of you who are single, a possible new romance is in store for you. Most of your focus concerning relationships is uh, new beginnings. Um, it's about manifesting your desires or that you want to begin a new relationship. For other relationships, um, I feel a lot of you want to kind of um, do or act or go forth. Uh, you will want to have the relationship that you make and expect. I also see... This shows someone who has skills when it comes to relationships, kind of like when, um, you know, how when it comes to how they talk, act, think, etc. They know how to communicate, so they use it to their advantage. And this pair could be negative or positive. Um, so some of you might be able to sweet talk somebody into going out with you. That could be what it's saying. It could be saying that a lot of you are coming up with a lot of creative ways to um, communicate better with your partner or your husband or your wife or whoever or a friend. Okay, it may not even be romantically connected. Um, but some of you may be dealing with a relationship where you feel someone is maybe taking advantage of you by using some slight manipulation to control you. Because sometimes the magician is a manipulator Later, and this sometimes means control. So manipulating your way to control. Maybe this is you doing it to somebody. Maybe it's just a little bit of um, innocent manipulation. Like maybe you're going to make your spouse feel bad so you can hang out with your friends more um, just to have a reason to go. It could be something small. Um, remember, not all of these meanings are huge things that happen in your life. Um, but this is a 
like I said, it is a kind of a powerful um, emotional pair when it comes to relationships. And um, I mean, it could be that someone is using their willpower to try and make a relationship into how they want to mold it. Kind of like what I just said. The Two of Wands, though, is often a card of planning and directing your energy towards changing or improving yourself or your image or your status. So um, maybe some of you are wanting to better yourself for your spouse or partner without losing focus on the plans that you have with the relationship or about the relationship. Okay, so that's not a bad thing. Um, I pick up though some of you may be planning to take a certain relationship to the next level by asking someone to move in with you or even some of you may be ready to make a commitment as well. Um, this combo also can be showing uh, collaborations and partnerships, but also progression. I get that the energy seems to really be there for one of, for, um, one of you in the relationship to maybe manifest your dreams into reality. So if any of you are waiting on someone to make their decision about a relationship, then I do feel that these two cards show that the decision will be made very soon. So overall, um, a very, it's kind of an interesting, it could go a little negative, but it's not very negative. I feel like it's more positive, but like I keep saying, yet a very powerful card combination still. Okay, so just kind of keep that in mind. And for your goals this month, um, whether they happened already or not, um, this is also a very interesting pair. Um, I feel, I feel a lot of you want to maybe awaken yourselves about something. Remember, this is what you want to happen this month, the, your goals and ambitions. Um, as if some of you either want to attempt fate or kind of maybe um, punish yourself in a sense, not maybe literally, but um, I don't know. It's not really a guilt card. It's not a guilt pair. I'm not. I'm not feeling that this is about feeling sorry about something. Um, it's sort of like someone who is learning the errors of his way due to something that has punished the person before. Hmm. It could also be that some of you are suddenly realizing that you need to let go of something or situation due to the hangman. And many of you may be wanting to try hard to see things in another way or from a different viewpoint, okay? And that's not a bad thing. It's always good to kind of see how the grass is on the other side. And <laughs> um, But I feel like one of your goals is that you're hoping for the worst is over and that conditions do begin improving. Um, but you know that in order to make some situations improved, you really do need to acknowledge that there is a problem. It's like with any addiction, an alcoholic, you know the saying, you got to admit there's a problem before you can change or get help. That's that's the first step, right? Right. So, um, so I really do feel that most of you will be wanting to experience kind of a sudden, maybe dramatic change in your life that causes you or almost forces you to create a certain stream of thought and this combo is basically saying that what you want is sudden uh, revelation or yeah, revelation. I feel like that's what you want. You know there's something going on that you want to awake from, something that gives more meaning to what and how it will bring a complete change into your life. It's, it's as if you're ready to surrender control to the higher powers and take your hands, that kind of takes your hands off of it, okay? So, if you want to make sense of that, <laughs> be my guest. No, I'm kidding. But so that's not necessarily bad. I just feel like a lot of you are really wanting uh, a lot of things to change suddenly. Um, maybe a total change because, you know, the hangman is what we call like the 180. You know, he's hanging upside down or maybe something you you're don't want to wait anymore. You just want things to change. And you know what? That's good because there's a lot of people that really don't like change. Cancers, we're one of them. <laughs> I mean, not every cancer doesn't welcome change, but we have a hard time with change unless it's only good. And of course, I think everybody's okay with happy changes. Um, nobody wants negative changes. Nobody does. But really, it's almost like you guys are ready for the change, whether whether it's not as perfect as you would like it to be. It's almost like you're accepting any kind of change as long as it teaches you a valuable lesson. And it's kind of like you guys are really awakening into the fact that you need, it's okay that you're, you're ready for your soul to learn more lessons because it'll help you in the long run. That's very brave of you, really. Okay, so unexpected this month, Libra, or sorry, Virgo. 
<laughs> Virgo, Virgo. Next, next reading will be Libra and then Scorpio. And then I start all over again for July. Okay, so for your unexpected Virgo. Okay, with the Ten of Cups, um, followed by the Knight of Swords, this pair really emphasizes on travel and the home. Whether it be leaving home, coming back home, or a vacation, uh, I feel like this pair is often the pair of adrenaline rush, <laughs> that moment of pure happiness that comes and goes, um, some kind like a like the honeymoon feeling, you know, the honeymoon stage, some kind of incident that causes like a spur of the moment type of situation. So you guys could be experiencing some of this. Um, this could be anything from like a short fling to running into a friend that you haven't seen in a while, or a last minute party or even a celebration that you're invited to. It could also be a last minute or spur of the moment vacation that you plan, like a weekend getaway with the person that you love. Like, hey, let's go here. You know, maybe it's planned a little bit, but it's not gonna be very, I don't feel like this is gonna be very planned, or maybe it will be. Um, another meaning is that some of you will be probably pleasantly surprised about some unexpected good news about some changes in your home or family environment, or, this could also be a sudden romantic interest and or it could i have a lot of ors don't i it could also be a trip that you take a couple of people along with without making any pre like i said it may not be planned and that maybe you decide to just kind of simply enjoy the adventure like going on an adventure whatever this is i do say i do see that this is more positive even if it is quick or very short-lived, okay? So I, I, unfortunately with the Knight of Swords, it's it, a lot of quickness happen, happening here. I don't think, see it long lasting. I mean, so be careful if you decide to go on a date with someone and, or maybe that's gonna be okay with you. Um, but like I said, it could be a family trip, but it's, I feel like it's gonna be very short. And maybe to some of you, a week vacation is short. So uh, I wish I could think that way. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a week. I'm always busy all the time. But um, but maybe for some of you, I just it, it, it's not bad though. It's just very short lived. But I'm not saying anything bad's gonna happen. And it doesn't mean that there's gonna be a breakup or anything. It's just kind of rushing into um, a, a, just a time of, of short happiness. Could be a day or so. Maybe you're gonna go visit your grandma or your family or your sister, and you realized you can't stay that long. It could be something like that. Just a quick visitation with someone. But I feel like you will enjoy yourself. Okay, so that's nothing bad so with your advice card for this month virgo um i do have the eight of wands here and it is an overall a positive card but again even if it's negative I, it always has they always have some advice to them so as an advice card this card i feel it's saying to know that conditions are going to change for the better and to really trust fate and trust the direction that you are headed Okay, um, do try to remain grateful for the end of stagnation and delays because they will be ending soon. Um, and I feel like this card shows you that you are approaching your goal and the universe knows what you are in need of, okay? Try not to be afraid to take a chance, but do get ready to hold tight though because there's going to be a lot of changes and movement coming your way because the eight of wands is a card of swift activity um i always say that little joke get ready to hold on like you're on a roller coaster um but usually this means a lot of delays a lot of setbacks are, are nearing completion so um as an advice card, just, just keep optimistic and know that any delays that you're maybe waiting on or trying to figure out what you want to do here about work or you're really wanting to change. So I feel like let this change happens and I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what you might be wanting anyway. So I don't think, I really don't think you need that much advice just because it feels like this is what you want. <laughs> but anyhow, just know that change is coming or delays are going to be ending soon. And so pretty much you have uh, most things in favor for you, but have a wonderful rest of the month. And thank you again for all listening to me. And I will see you all in my next video.